Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. I know this is not nails. I have other interests also. I normally do not share other things on my channel other than um, nail-related business. But, you know, every once in a while, I do like to share other things that interest Miss Tina, Miss Moonbebe Nails. And I do love to read. I love to read, and um, I don't get to do as much of it as I used to because I'm one of those people that when I start reading a book, I literally cannot put it down until I finish it. It's a one chapter myself into insomnia and um, all of that goodness. So I wanted to share this, though, with you. I've got a couple of things to share with you today. And, if, you know, I understand if you don't want to watch this because it's not nail-related, you can, you can go on and click off and come back tomorrow because I'm sure it'll be nails tomorrow. But, um... I got sent this book by the author herself, Alexander Corliss, and um, we call her Alex. And it's called The Road That Leads Me Somewhere. It's a beautiful book. It's an easy read. Um, I'm not finished with it yet. Oh, and my battery had to cut me off. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this is just a... I'm not going to give away the story. I'm not going to, you know, tell you what it's about or anything. It's just a really easy read. I like the font, the, the, I mean, it's just an easy, easy read. And th her writing style is just really nice. Um, like I said, I don't want to give it away, um, but I do want to, uh, you know, throw this out there that I do love to read. And, um, this is called The Road That Leads Me Somewhere, Alexander Corliss. If you would like more information, I will try to have a link down below for you to go click on. Um, you might just want to check this out in your local bookstore, um, see, see about that. But she, when she said she was sending this, I wasn't expecting this other one. And I haven't read this one at all yet. I should have read it first. But this is the prequel to Once in a Blue Moon, which is just insane because I'm Moon Baby. Okay? I'm Moon Baby. And I love this. And I'm a dolphin. I just love dolphins and manatees and whales. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I just really, really, I'm, I'm just looking forward to having some weekend time and getting to do that. Okay, now off of the books. Some other things I love. You guys know I love me some Harry Potter. Today, I had a busy week at work, okay, and today's Friday that I'm recording this. I don't know when it'll post, but I came home and there was this little package in my mailbox, and I wasn't expecting anything. So I was like, what? So I grab it and I look on the back and it says M. Gibson. Well, M. Gibson is Mandy Gibson. And she was a winner of one of the You Are Beautiful plates. And I shipped her her plate and some other goodies. Because I carried around her stamping plate for um, weeks. I just could not get to the post office. We had just too much going on with air conditioners breaking. And fences getting built. And gates having to be rebuilt and fixed and internet service upgrade it was just crazy so i kept apologizing i kept saying i'll try to get it this week i'll try to get it this week so i finally did get it in the mail to her and look what she did i mean i made her wait forever to get her prize which was just so wrong on my part and she sends me this beautiful card with this gorgeous butterfly on it look at that and then some Harry Potter beautifuls. I'm just, look, look at the little back pins. I am just so floored by this. Mandy, you so didn't have to do this, but girlfriend, I totally appreciate it. Um, like I said, I wasn't expecting it. And when it arrived, it came at a really good time because I just had a heck of a week. So it was really nice to come home and find that. So, I want to thank Mandy for sending me my Harry Potter goodies, and a beautiful card it means a lot to me. And I would also like to thank Alex for sending me her books and turning me on to a new author. My favorite author passed away a while back. I'm not going to get into naming any names or anything, you know, um, but uh, not, not anybody else, because we're not talking about anybody else today. Um, but... Um, so, uh, there's not going to be any, any new books coming out from my old favorite Arthur. So, maybe I have found a new one. So, that is it for me today. Um, I know this was different. Um, 
But, you know, I know a lot of us love to read and have other interests other than nails. And we do share stuff like that with each other. So, if you would like to leave me, you know, like, tell me down below what your favorite book is or your favorite author or the kind of books you like to read. Um, you know, other things that you like to uh, do when you're not doing your nails. So, uh, you know, because I love the banner with you guys. I love chatting and learning about each other. Um, real friendships are being built here. Um, many of us may never see each other face to face, but you know, that's not part of being a friend. Being a friend is being there for each other and having someone to talk to when you've got good news and bad news. So, um, that's what a friend is to me. And, uh, I really and truly see you all as my friends, just like you lived here in my little town and I got to visit with you every day. That's how I see this. So, um, so enough of that business. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you for dropping by and watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And this is what Cotton does when Mommy's playing nails. He lays to where he's getting a little bit of sunlight from the window. And checking out what Mommy's doing. Isn't that right, Cotton? Cotton. Ain't that right? <laughs> he can't be bothered. <laughs>